Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts. We are here at the Modus Exhibition in Grantham. We've got the King of Bling himself, Bobby. Bobby, it's been a while since Cardiff. First of all, the knee looks really yeah, good. Yeah, I can walk now, no stick. Walk up the stairs, lovely, no pain. New man. That time of year, World Championships on the horizon. Do you still get goosebumps thinking about the World Championships? Well, I did when I was in it, but not now, I don't. But, um, if you look at the PDC World Championship, there's quite a few players in it, unknowns as well, and you're going to get a few upsets, shorter format. When they get in the longer format, then I think Wonderboy will keep going. He wants some beating. Michael wants some beating, really. It's, you know, anything with 100,000 or 500,000 a winner, I think you get. I think you play proper this time. <laughs> Again, just that time of year, is it squeaky bum time for players thinking, have they done enough preparation, have they not? Do they start overthinking it with the worlds on the horizon? Well, if you put the hours in, you feel like um, you've done your, so you deserve to win. If you don't put the hours in and you lose, you think, oh, I should have put more in. But then some people are born with a gift and some people don't have to practice. Some people just do it naturally. Um, but they'll all be up to take his crown off him. They're going to try to beat him up, put it that way. Um, Price is playing really well. You know, he's lost a couple of last two months, is it? Must be yeah. two months. Really come up, you know, gone up the ladder really quick, and he. Uh, Wright is dangerous, but uh, Anderson's dangerous. But there's guys out there which we don't know, because everyone has to have a start somewhere. And it was like Cross when he won it. I mean, they didn't know who he was, came in and he won the World Championship. Well, there might be another guy like him. So, but you still got to go for the number one player at the moment. I still got to go for him. Um, if I had a bet now, you, it, you, I've got to have a bet on him. But anyway. You've seen them all come and go. Is he the best you've ever seen? I've seen all the dark players over 44 years. All the going to beat the world up going to win everything. Um, Taylor was a great player, I'm not saying he had 16 world, world championships he had. Uh, you, well, I don't, you, Michael could never do that this, to, in today's dials, you wouldn't do it. but Because uh, you learn too much money, so you would have to retire. Um, do you know, I forgot the question you was asking me. Now is, I went, is, what? is he the best you've ever seen? Michael is a born dark player. He was born a dark player. I knew him when he was a kid, and how he used to play. Unbelievable, I mean, he, was a, he was a youngster, he used to play in the youth. And I said, watch him. And he, he's a born a dark player. He's, he's got a gift that everyone would like that gift because he's, he's born with a gift to, to play darts and under pressure, not just beating people up. Um, he doesn't, what fascinates me if you watch him play, he has a name, he just throws them. He looks where he's throwing and throws where he's looking. It's, he's an amazing young man. He's amazing. Uh, he can get beat. He can. I, I watched him over the, uh, the couple of this couple of years. He was like untouchable first. They couldn't get near him, but they're creeping up now. They're creeping up the legs that they're winning. So he's got to um, start bucking him, his ideas up and beat them up more. The rivalry he's got now with Gerwin Price, they're the best two players in the world right now. Is that a good thing for sport as well, that someone's coming along and pushing Michael? Because that pushes his buttons to get better. I don't think he's, uh, he, he, he don't like Gerwin Price. I think he does. You know, it's all like... It, Gerwin's the same as him, really. You know, they all, that, he got fined because he went over the top, Gerwin. But I don't think he's like that. I, I'm, I, know, I know the pair of them. I know Gerwin. He's a nice young man. He's really funny, he's very quiet, he doesn't say much, but he gets into it, into the game. When he wins, he gives it the bigger night. Yeah. But Michael does that. When he, yeah. yeah, they do it both together. So, be interesting to see how they get on. Again, looking at a couple of topical things in the world of darts, the World Youth title happened at uh, Minehead. Luke Humphrey's a great winner. But is there something wrong with the criteria? A lot of people are saying that Luke's won it. It's nothing against him because it's within the rules. But is 24 and tour car holders too much to be playing in a youth or a competition, do you think? I think it's that's just Mickey Mouse in it, you know. Youth is up to, uh, below 18. You know, you, you fight for your country when you're 18. You're a man. But to play youth world championship when you're 24, that's, nah, that's not... Um, I don't think that's good. 
I think he's he's got a beard. He's got but so many kids or whatever. That's what fascinates me. You know, they're youth. Um, no, I don't think it's right, really. Personally, I think 18 up to 18 years old. Then, when you get to your 18th birthday, you become a man. You play in the big boys thing. You play a man's thing. Get in there. It's not fair to the youngsters. They're all pretty good. At like 15, 16 years old. They're, they're playing a man that's been on the circuit for a, probably five or six years more than them, or even more. And they're youth players. How can they, you know, I, I'll get embarrassed if I give him a trophy and he's got, he shaves more than me a day. You know, <laughs> and he's a youth player. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think he's right, personally, you know. But that's their rules, that's what they play in, so. BDO business as well. Um, off to the Indigo, ticket sales don't look to be going great latest release only 9% of tickets for the whole tournament sold is that a massive worry because Lakeside used to sell at the click of a fingers I think they've done a wrong and when, when you've got Lakeside it's the sort of the history it's the history of their game really I know we was at um, it, it was near uh, I can't remember the place we was there now I've to start our game stop a minute Jollies that's him yeah, um, uh, Lakeside is uh, the history. We started at Jollies, and before that, another place in Nottingham. And we went to Lakeside, and Lakeside had become like the home of World Darts. Everyone knows Lakeside for darts, you know. And I think the BDO, who runs it, the people who run it, come unstuck trying to go to the O2, not the actual O2 itself, but on the side, but it still holds, holds about 15 to 2,000 people. But where are you going to park in the O2? What about the hotels in the park too? You can get there by train, yeah, but people want to go away like they did in, 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 in the lakeside and stuff for a week or 10 days and have a party every night. They ain't going to do that. So I think they've done it wrong. I can't see them doing any good. It's a shame, really, because Ollie Croft, bless his heart, he's, he just passed away. It was his baby. He made the old boys, like I say. He made us something. He gave us a chance, putting darts on the telly, coloured television. He put. He had all tournaments around the world, and um, they rode him out. And they come unstuck. They shouldn't have just put him on one side. They should have kept him on for a, the advice to do things. But they didn't. They didn't want to do it. They thought they knew better. And um, it's a shame because PDC needs the BDO to train the youngsters, get them in the sort of Super League, go into the counties, and when they're good, they can go into PDC. So you, you need the tap running from the BDO so they can fill the bucket up for the PDC. That's my opinion, anyway. And I think it's a shame that the BDO have gone down the road they've gone down. Guessing just touching on that, the World Masters, the longest serving tournament in the darting calendar was an absolute car crash this year. And was that, again, sad to see? That was terrible. A World Masters was a prestige tournament. If you was World Masters, it sounds good, or World Masters. I've played it a lot of times. Got in the semi-finals and one thing or another. It was a great tournament to play. But um, hardly anyone turned up to watch it. Um, they changed it. Well, not, it's called the Masters. They didn't use Winmore. Dart, didn't, don't use Winmore dartboards. It's not Winmore World Masters. The, one of the it's the longest the second longest running tournament in the world to win more world masters besides the news of the world there'll be going back a long while see memory <laughs> and um it's a shame that it's it's gone that way because no prestige not the coverage um the audience never turn out to watch it it's only the players that are watching it i've, I've got it really for them I'm, I'm going for the players, if you want the truth. The guy who won it, the Irishman, played really well, and he didn't have a trophy because he got Winmore on it. So they gave him you know, a plate from the canteen or something like that. I don't know who it was. <laughs> but the boy played so well. He was, well, as far as I'm concerned, that's the, the tournament's World Masters. But they called it the Masters, and it wasn't there, nothing there. There was no prestige, nothing, nothing at all. You touched on the great Ollie Croft there as well, passing away. Sad day in darts because yes there was a lot of bad blood towards the end but he was the one that built the BDO from nothing and really gave everyone a platform to go and showcase the talent and the sport yeah he did I mean I didn't get on with Ollie all the time um, he was 90 when he passed away he was a great age 90 and I hope I'll get there but um, he'd done a lot for the game he, he, he pushed it on the television 
he, he could see, he started the counties, he got all the counties involved, got the youth involved, and people who, who, who played in it, and they done well in it, they come up the ladder in it. They played for England, and then, so you play Super, you play Super League first, then you play County, then the, the goal was to play for England. It was a prestige thing, to play for your country. That I loved it, I thought, I've done it. I'll play, I'm an England player. And um, when a lot all the tournaments he'd he, he, he done, the World Professionals, uh, Masters, British Open, I mean, they'd done all over the world. He'd done really well, but no one really appreciated him. Few players said he's, you know, taking more than he should out of the game, and um, they want more television. And uh, if it's not there, it's not there. And he tried; it wasn't there. But sadly, he's passed away. And but he done something for me and all the all the. Well, he was a stepping stone for darts, really. He, he was the guy that done the. He made the stepping stones for us to cross the river. <laughs> like uh, like the PDC have done, they've named trophies after. Um, founding members of the PDC like Eric and Sid Woodall would you like the PDA to maybe name their world championship trophy the Ollie Croft Memorial Trophy or something like that yeah. just for recognition I think they should not give him some credit you know he got an MBE so he, you know, obviously he got credit but have a trophy like the Ollie Croft uh, you know world champions trophy well, you know but people got different ideas oh, he was no good didn't like him didn't like that but I didn't like everything, like I said, but I still liked him. He's still done. He had made me. I wouldn't be talking to you if it weren't for Ollie Croft. Put it that way. Again, just touching on your great memories as well. We've asked a lot of people this. If you were captain of your local Friday night team, what would your ideal dream team be? Six players. Six players. Well, you've got to go for the top guys. You've got to go Gurin Price, uh, the Wonder Boy. Right, him, um, Anderson, um, Mark Webster I will go for, I think he'd make a good team player, Mark Webster. Uh, I've got to think who the other players now. Who the other player? I can't think of all the other players. Can be dead or alive if you want, they don't, have to, they don't have to be with us now. Oh, you mean so would? Oh, no, I you, see. Whoever you want. Oh, right, okay. From the old players, uh, yeah, well, you can pick whoever you want. Well, from current day to yeah, all right. I would have Eric. Like Eric was playing at 80 to 85. I'd have Eric. Yeah. I'd have John Lowe. I don't like John Lowe, but John Lowe was the anchor man for England. If we had to play an extra game, Eric said, let him play. He, he won't get beat because he was the anchor man. Like. So there's Eric, John Lowe, Price, Anderson, the Wonder Boy, um, Wright. I've got to go for a cross as well. Really good player, isn't he? Um, how many is that? I that's can't, it. I'm a bad county and I'm a dark player as well. <laughs> that's it, that's your six. That's a six. Yeah. I'll go, that's today. You know, if you, they wasn't there, I'll go for other, other obviously, you go Alan Glazer, Tommy Brown, you go for all the, me, put myself in that, I would. The, the, but today's, if you could bring them back in the standard that they played, they're, they're, the, they're the guys I would, I would have. Lowy, I'll have Lowy and Eric. And me as, as a reserve. <laughs> just, just obviously, as you talk about Boy Wonder in there, just so everyone knows, you asked him for his phone number at an exhibition, you know, and just tell the dying world what he put in, his, in the phone well, book as. He, he winds me up all the time. He calls me Granddad, you know. He, how are you going, Granddad? Anyway, so it's a couple of years ago, three years ago. I said, put your, I said, no, I'm not good at all these phones. Like, put your number in it. So he puts his number in it. And I thought I'd phone him up. So. I'm going down the M's and I can't find it. I thought, I oh, know you put it in there, so I probably didn't. Anyway, I was going down the B's for someone. So I can't, Bob so and so. I'm going down there and I thought, what's this? Best in the world he put. So he didn't put his name, he just put best <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Got to laugh at him. He's a lovely boy though. He is lovely. Bobby, it's an absolute pleasure spending time with you as always. Thank you very much for your time, mate. Thank you, and may the dance be with you. <laughs>